How's it stingin' honeys? Welcome to a, another Starfield video, uh, in which I will be playing Starfield, uh, as most people do in Starfield videos. Uh, in the last... Sorry, just a second. <laughs> sorry. Uh, in the last, uh, video, we found out that there might be, um, there might be some sign of aliens, uh, that we can find more, uh, more out about. That's why our little quest is called First Contact, because uh, that's usually, that's a very commonly used, like, phrase for, you know, meeting aliens for the first time. So we're going to go try to hail the, the unidentified ship and see how that goes. It's, a, it's really exciting. I, I've... Let's let's see if they're aliens. What? How are you in here before me? You were behind me, Sarah. Don't tell me to get this ship moving. Let's do this. Blast off. So yeah, I'm I'm really excited to see actually when Oh. Exactly. Seriously. Seriously. My fan knows what's up. Does my fan have a name? Do we know of a name? Hi. Hi. Hello? Uh, this is Gravity Descent. I don't think this is working. I'm going to attempt a docking procedure and we can talk on board. All right. Hopefully the aliens are nice. Um, you know, maybe they're not aliens and it's just, I don't know. I, I feel like I'd be a little disappointed if the alien, if the alien ship like looked so much like dark. Oh my gosh. It's funny, right here it says there's stowage, but it's like, it's like they just, it's like a little kid trying to say storage or something. It's funny. Uh, I promise it's funny, I what swear. I Why are you standing like that? That makes me so uncomfortable. That makes me, please, st you're my fan? You're my fan, right? So please stop. Just don't do that anymore. Here, can I assign you guys to do certain things? Can I... Crew. Alright. So, adoring fan. Assign... To Snowflake. Can I assign... Can I have you do specific jobs? Maybe that's like a trade or something. I can have you both do the ship situation. She, you're unassigned. Yeah, you just just be my companion. Yes, infallible one. That's that's me. Are are you I'm my? Listening. Okay. All right. Let's Bye. yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Hopefully, you're following me now. That you're. Oh yeah, it's up. Up 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 all night long. Uh, seriously. Okay, okay. Uh, aliens, please be nice. Please. Be... Nice. Remain calm. There's no reason to suspect whatever it is is hostile. 
these don't seem like aliens. Uh, yeah, I thought you were aliens. I didn't think you would think I was an alien. Maybe you guys are aliens, you know, maybe. Uh, of course I'm human. Were you expecting something else? It's just that we weren't expecting to find life let alone human life out here. We thought we were the only ones to leave Earth. Imagine being cut off from humankind for that long. How terribly frightening that would be. Perhaps we should greet our guests. Of course, manners. I'm Captain Diana Brackenridge. This is Security Officer Bomani Reader. Hmm. And this <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, you really needed to cut to him for the pleasure to, meet hmm. you. pleasure to meet you too. Uh you know what? We don't need to be this anti video game. Alright, you can calm down. Why does it why does it let me scroll lower for the option that's oh, so it can show the whole little box. I'm gravity descent and I'm here to help. I see. As you may have presumed, we're in a bit of a bind. Our ship has finally completed its near 200 year journey from Earth, only to find our new home seemingly colonized by, well, we don't yeah, know. Yeah, it's, it's just humans, I'm so sorry. Successful, so your arrival is fortuitous. So Perhaps fortuitous. Perhaps willing to act as a middle person between ourselves and the others. <sighs> I'm so sorry, they, they're just humans. Why don't your comms work? We're not entirely sure. Our engineers believe it's possible to our technology just isn't compatible with theirs. Mm. All we hear when using them to communicate with anyone is a bunch of disturbing noise. It gave me the heebie-jeebies at it, first. It'll do that. It'll do that. It'll give you the heebie-jeebies. They... Yeah, how did it take so long? Ah, your question confirms one of our recent theories. It would seem that some form of faster than light travel or space bending technology was invented during our long journey. That would explain why we would find people this far out into space. I guess technology leapfrogged us at some point. Interesting. Well, yeah, technology I can only advances. That our predecessors didn't believe the technology would ever work. And so they made the decision to leave when they did. Hmm. Yeah, they're. I don't. I don't want to like. I don't want to shock you or anything, but yeah, they. They're humans. Of course, we know that now. Oh, yeah. Human or not, we were still unable to communicate our intentions. Oh, that's scary. As soon as we discovered them, we fully expected negotiations would be necessary. Now then, please follow me. There's much to discuss first. We'll speak more on the matter once we reach the bridge. Dr. DeCosta, you may return to your quarters if you wish. Thank you, Doctor. I will follow you to the bridge room for security purposes. It's a big gun. I do not believe we have need to fear our guest, but I'll allow it if you insist. Welcome to the Earth Colony It's a big ship. ship. In the early 2100s, my ancestor, Rupert Brackenridge, researched a number of scientific scenarios, climate change, asteroid impact, nuclear war, global pandemic, and more. Each scenario showed the likelihood of an extinction-level event to be within 50 years. He fully believed Earth was destined to be rendered uninhabitable. We've always assumed that's what happened. It, it did happen, so, pretty sure. The best and brightest he could find built the constant Earth didn't look too hot. for this planet here. We were told that it was the largest, most advanced ship ever constructed on Earth at the time. If you can believe, entire generations have been born, lived, and died on this ship. It really goes to show that there are no limits to human ingenuity and perseverance. We were never trained to address threats coming from outside our ship. Just because our equipment's old, doesn't... I have to say, with technology this outdated, I'm amazed. 
means that this vessel is able to navigate at all. It's almost like walking through a museum. Yeah, it's it's big. Um, and yeah, old old technology. It's interesting. Constant is a peaceful ship. You guys have bright Don't lights in that. here. Now that you're here, I can finally give my crew a chance at a new life. My eyes are closed so often. Uh, yeah, you can give them a new chance. Chance to do. We life. didn't believe anyone would be out here, but I'm glad for it. Yeah, you're like right above a big like vacation spot, I'm pretty sure. Um How long have you been captain? I think I'm coming up on 6 years now. I was only a teenager when my father died, passing command of the ship to me, as is tradition. Because of that, I've had to sort of learn as I go along instead of taking years of study and apprenticeship under the prior captain I think some people on the ship that's resent me for not having the level of experience yeah, as my predecessors gotta be difficult. but at the same time without my command we likely wouldn't have made it here so quickly well yeah and you had a lot you had to struggle through a lot more to get to where you're at that makes sense um is it difficult being captain mm, difficult is the wrong word it can be both challenging at times, and also exciting. Our mission was to rebuild humanity on a distant world, believing that we were Earth's last hope. To think that while there has always been a bracken ridge in the captain's chair, that I am the one to finally oversee our journey's end is truly exhilarating. Yeah. But with this stumbling block in our path, at this final moment, I fear tough choices will need to be made. Like, what? Yeah, how are they? A bit frazzled, as you can imagine. People are anxious about discovering that we're not alone, and also worried about what will come to pass. While we hope we can work out a deal with the people on the surface, they seem reluctant to reach out, so there's no telling what will come of that. I do know that we can't afford to stay here in orbit forever. The ship was built to sustain us for many years with backup provisions just in case, but even that will come to an end eventually. Sounds like you'd use some help. Well, as I mentioned, we've been unsuccessful in communications with anyone up until you arrived. Well, They're now that we know trying, you're human, you can just land on asking, the maybe planet you'd be below. Maybe willing to be a sort of diplomat between us oh. and them as we attempt to resolve our situation. Does that sound agreeable to you? Um. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of my thing. Uh, the people want the same. I'll help. Sounds like you're just trying to offload the hard parts to someone else. What's wrong with... What? Well, they're probably just outdated. We suspect that our equipment is woefully yeah. obsolete compared to whatever you all have now. In all honesty, we never expected to need to communicate with anyone, so our comms aren't particularly robust. That limits our options. We even attempted communicating with lights and sounds something we saw in an old movie but I don't believe they picked up on it mm -hmm. if anything it may have inadvertently alarmed them yeah uh yeah I'll help no problem ah, so they have a name Paradiso and it sounds promising that they sent you here to speak with us yes you see, we intended to settle here but we assumed that they intend to defend their claim given their presence here We'd like you to go speak to them on our behalf and help us negotiate a solution. Dude, you can just land like everyone else. Us. Yeah, what do you want me to say? Excellent. Make no mistake, this is our planet, and we intend for them to see this our way. What? So, speak with their leadership and see if you can negotiate a solution on our behalf. Preferably, get them to see things our way. There's so Report many planets. Let me know what they say, and we'll go from there. You could just pick one without stuff on it. Yeah. We thought about it, 
but it simply won't do. I need to think about the distant future of our people. Sure, our first settlement may be small, but our predecessors dreamt of our new civilization spreading across the globe. That will be difficult if someone else plans to do the same. While we're not completely close to the idea of sharing, it's much easier if we have complete domain over this world. Um... Yeah... Okay, but no promises. Now, now. It makes little sense to give up before you try. Okay, I'm just saying Thank there's a chance that luck. I won't be able to completely. I'm not giving up. Uh, you guys have waited 200 years for this. Definitely been waiting longer than the other people, so it makes sense that you guys should have have a bit of claim, but I don't want you guys to be taking over the whole place. That's not fair. They've been, they've built up their little society. They have. Why can't you stay? I mean, okay. Like, I guess it makes sense that you don't want to stay here forever. But I don't know. What's really cool in here? There's. I I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't have a huge desire to leave. Hey. Hi. Hi, colonist. I like your hair. These are exciting times, aren't they? Uh, they really are, cause you're about to hey there. be the first person to like leave There's the ship so in forever. About now. Yeah, it's like they're yeah, it's like they're in a vault. Oh. Lots of like rations and stuff in here. Well, hi. Hi. Boy, am I glad you weren't some sort of. You know what? You wouldn't be excited by an I alien. I guess it'd be more scary if it's mo it's more of a relief to find a human when you think that all humans are dead. It's very much like a like a Fallout vault situation. I don't. Oh yeah. I don't know how to get out of here. Okay. Never seen a ship like yours. Heard about me already? Hydroponics, of course. This must be how the colony ship kept itself fed over all these years in space. Uh, yeah. Like, just like we the Martian. Why are you being a hater? That's what I want to know, personally. I'll yeah, I'll negotiate for you people. You know, I think you I think you guys deserve the best. You guys seem really cool. And I don't know, you've been waiting for this for a long time. You deserve you deserve it. Why is it, wait, what, why is it all the way over there now? I have to talk to someone else? Can't talk to this guy?
Okay, here. I... I'll just drop something. Don't need all these backpacks. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out what to what to drop to stop being over encumbered. Oh, you have your own discount discount on spa amenities. Once again, we are dreadfully sorry. Alright, I'm gonna give them something so that I don't have to Yeah, here, just take Just take this. Maybe. I don't know, is it the best one? I think this is better. I don't know. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna sell this one. And then that should be enough space now. Yeah, I'm good. It's okay, Pietro. I know you're programmed to be So it's absolutely beautiful. Can you possibly imagine a more oh. tranquil place for a resort? Hope you're having a pleasant day. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hello there. Hello there. Oh, this looks like a lovely oh my gosh. place for a stay. That's like Todd Howard Might here. also be the perfect time to stop for some food or tranquility. Where should we begin? We should begin by doing our job, okay? So yeah, the people weren't aliens. Kind of a disappointment. Um, it's maybe hey, there will be me. though. You can't just waltz in there. Do you have an appointment? Um. I'm here on important business. I really don't, and I can't have you barging in on the executives while they're working. So if you need something, you can talk to me. That's the best I can do, I'm afraid. You're, there's, I'm helping. Oh, you're the one they're waiting for then. Do you need anything else from me before you meet with the board? over everyone's thoughts people were a little freaked out around here understandably it looks so different and it's so massive we honestly thought we were under attack by an unknown entity but then nothing happened it just stayed there no one could communicate with it and we've been very careful not to alert the resort guests the board believed it would be bad for business um so like working for them. I can't speak for anyone else, but I've got a pretty high-pressure job working as the executive assistant to the Paradiso board. 
You can imagine dealing with a team of execs trying to manage all of their schedules and their other whims. But it pays well, and they give me a nice executive suite at the hotel to live in. So it's not all bad. Free access to all the resort's amenities after work helps too. Tell me about them. <laughs> what I could tell you would get me in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Most it's of them okay. are typical sea level execs. I doubt you even need to use your imagination for that. The ones that show up to work day to day, at least. I swear, I've never even met some of them because they chill at their own private secluded beach homes all the time. Anyway, be smart around Oliver. He's got a way of getting what he wants without you realizing it. And that's all I'll say. Okay, I'm gonna go in. Sure. Have fun in the shark tank. And don't worry, even they call it that. Oh. Polishing. I think we'd be a prime target for pirates. But they know to stay away for the most part. Mm. Oh. Th I just what? <laughs> feel that we should be focusing okay, on the only natural three beauty people. of this planet. Not our amenities. There are millions of planets out there. People can go to any one of them. The resort facilities are precisely what we bring to the table. Heck, if it's not important, it's bring it up with really got to offer. Um, you're the man I need to talk to? I am. And oh, you I must am. be the diplomat Jiro told me about. Yep. Welcome, welcome. Normally I'd offer you an all-inclusive stay at our resort before we spoke. But given the circumstances, I'm going to cut to the chase. We've got our friends, the aliens, up there causing all sorts of problems for our resort. Like what? Something like that. The marketing team came up with it. The thought is, if we can't get rid of them, it might actually attract more tourism. Come see the aliens. <laughs> um. <laughs> sure, whatever. It's brilliant. Uh. You know it's not true. Despicable. Hardly. Just a backup plan in case we can't get them to leave. But you're right. No one's gonna buy aliens. Remind me to fire the marketing team. So tell me, what's the actual deal with this massive eyesore of a ship? Besides scaring people away. <laughs> wow. It really was. Um, they're here after a 200 oh, year journey. That's something. Yep. Shame we can't just tell them kindly to bugger off. Something tells me that's not going to work. Now, tell me, what are we going to do about it? Give me some proposals, people. I need something to work with here. Hmm. We could offer to resettle them here. There's more than enough space. This person they seems could cool. stay here temporarily, but it'll cost them quite a bit too. They'd need to work off all their debts before being allowed to leave. Ah, uh, maybe not. What if we help them get out of here? Outfit their ship with a grab drive so they can find a new home. We could even lend our engineers to help and give their captain an updated star map. What do you think? Sounds costly. We can't absorb that cost, and it's unlikely they even have compatible currency, let alone enough for the transaction. Someone else would have to foot the bill. <laughs> oh, I so I can do a that. Lot easier if they cease to exist entirely. Wow. Anyway, Seema's got the right idea. Either works for me. Just tell me what you want to do. Yeah, why can't they just settle on the other side? We own this planet, they don't. Here at Paradiso, we don't like leaving things to chance. Who knows what these people will do with their land? Imagine the landscaping disasters they might come up with. And, and what? that might mar the satellite imagery of the planet in our brochures. You're ridiculous. Uh, much better to assimilate them into our culture if they come here to live, rather than leave it to chance. Seriously, seriously, human beings and you're worried about landscaping. Well, absurd or not, that's our official stance. 
I make the decisions that are best for our entire group. You don't. So there's... I can't even persuade you or anything? They can live here. Why do I have to play the grab drive? It's not our responsibility to bear the brunt of that cost. We're being more than generous by offering the use of our engineering team to help install it. A custom grab drive can't come cheap, and I assume they have neither the monetary means nor the connections to get a hold of that kind of technology. Yeah. That leaves the only other party in this negotiation. You. All right, let's see what And which proposal will you be taking to the good me. captain? I assume there's a captain. No. Yeah. They'd be hard pressed to defend their claim in any courts. Our charter goes back years. It was registered with both the UC and Free Star Collective, per the Centaurus Proclamation. We may be outside the settled systems, but that charter is official as can be. I'm sorry, but you're going to need to be the one to break the news to them that they need to make a compromise or leave. Okay. I'll buy them a grab drive. Ah, good on you. You want to see a man named Benny St. James over at Hope Tech. He's the best in the business. If anyone can retrofit a 200-year-old ship with a modern grab drive, it'd be him. We'll coordinate our engineering team with his when you return. Though you may have to help the Constance engineers prepare for it on their end. Good luck. I know this was a difficult decision. But if it's any consolation, I think you've made the right choice. Compared to the destruction of their vessel and relegating them to a life of servitude, I'd say this is the best choice. Exactly. Seriously. Right. Thank On behalf you, of the Paradiso Sarah. group, we appreciate your help. Uh, when you have a few I minutes, don't want to risk us coming off as just discuss. another artificial, shady, trash fiddle dump like Neon. That's not who we are. We this person got something is pretty special cool. here. We should embrace It's my pleasure to make sure our guests are happy. Okay. I shouldn't be telling you this, but the young man is his brother, and I'm jealous of him. Young man. Okay, I won't. Please let the concierge know if you need anything. Yeah, it seems like a nice place. My boost just sucks here. It's not, I guess the gravity is just higher than most other places. Um, but uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm actually very tired. So this is gonna be a very short video. Um, in the next video, uh, we will uh, actually do the rest of this and uh, figure out the whole negotiation situation uh but uh for now uh today we are going to be done with this video uh i'd like to thank you so much for watching uh it's very appreciated and uh i i just like to say as always keep stinging honeys i love you